In this video, we want to learn how to model these uh, curved stairs and how to use a stair lock options that have been added to array curve in Rhino 8. So for that, first I'll pick an arc and on the ground with the radius of 0.6 and the amount of 270 degrees. And then from this arc, using offset, get a, for example, 1.2 meters, get an offset so that I can create one of my stairs. For that, I'll, I can use drawing a line and using array polar tool from the center of zero, for example, the number 21, the input and 270 degrees should be rotating. And I can create one of my stairs using curve boolean and I'll turn off the grid snap, one click and OK. And I'll press invert and delete all the other lines and select this one single stair and get, uh, give it a thickness of five centimeters. And I'll turn on solid option so that it would be created as a closed volume. After that, I'll use Helix tool, uh, right click here, vertical helix, and for example, 3.6 meters on turn, and put it on 270 degrees divided by 360 degrees with a radius of 60 degrees, like this. And now I select a stair and use array curve, and on this line, I use it and it would be, for example, create 20 stairs. And as you can see, the stairs are not really healthy stairs and they're rotated. So in 8, Rhino 8, when you click on orientation, you get a stair lock option that didn't exist in 7 and prior versions. I can select the stair lock that really easily and interestingly creates my stairs like this and now i can use this line the same line for example we're using offset i can get 0.4 and uh, using the oft command i'll create a surface for here i hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and you use it in your projects.